AMD teases with it back at CES and now we're finally getting it. The full reveal of the upcoming RX 90 series graphics cards is finally happening in a few days time on the 28th of February. Which just so happens to be when I'm away so I can't even live stream it so thanks AMD. But lucky for me and lucky for you, you don't even have to really wait for the event because pretty much all of the specs have already leaked and it's looking kind of promising. Naturally there are the expected increases in core count especially when it comes to ray tracing and AI cores and the expected boost in GPU clocks with the 9070 XT even boosting all the way up to 2970 megahertz. So we should be seeing drastic improvements in performance across pretty much every single use case. However especially ray tracing is going to be interesting given how it's an area where Team Red have traditionally struggled against Nvidia. However from the early leaked benchmarks we've seen it looks like AMD may have actually leveled out the playing field somewhere. Now both the 9070XT and 9070 will be using the same 16GB of GDDR6 memory, which is kind of odd given how Nvidia is already on the much faster 32 gigabit per second GDDR7, but oh well. However, we are actually seeing the upgrade to PCIe Gen 5, so your fancy new PCIe 5.0 capable motherboard is finally going to come in useful. And as is always the case, AMD fans are already claiming that this will be a one. This will be the generation when they finally take on Nvidia, when the king will be dethroned and the complacency that Nvidia have shown will finally be punished. However, it always comes down to one thing, and that is price. And we have already seen some leaked pricing for these graphics cards. And what makes judging if it's a good deal or not a lot more difficult is the fact that there will most likely be no reference or founders edition designs from AMD themselves. So there will always be this kind of markup on these third party graphics cards like you always get. Meaning that this $700 or so price tag for the 9070XT or the $650 price tag for the 9070 may not be fully accurate and it may actually be even a bit more. So at 700 bucks, that's just 50 less than the 5070 Ti. Though in all fairness, that one doesn't have any founders edition design from Nvidia either. Basically, keep your hype in check. Don't get me wrong, new tech is always awesome and competition is always healthy, though we have to wait and see if this will truly be the generation where AMD will actually take on Nvidia and finally win back a couple of spots in that Steam hardware survey. Me and my cynicism tell me that nope, nothing will change, but hey, I want to be pleasantly surprised, but let me know what you think all of this down in the comments below and maybe check out our Patreon as well because no matter how these cards end up, our patrons always a fantastic deal. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Elav Ronyak, Balash Roker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Mech Somnish, and Allcraft and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.